Hello everyone, welcome to Doc's Herbal Corner, sponsored by Dr. Tate's Herbal Tinctures and Tonics. I can imagine that you have, in your kitchen right now, a culinary seasoning called black pepper. It's a common seasoning. But did you know that black pepper is also a powerful kitchen medicine? But having it in your kitchen is one thing, and understanding what it does and how to use it is quite another. To help us understand black pepper, we are joined today by naturalist, herbalist, detox specialist, author, and diplomat of integrative medicine. With over half a century of herbal medicine experience, Dr. Stephen Tates. Let's jump right in. Hello, Doc. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. All right. So as we kind of move on over to Doc's Herbal Corner. Yes. Move on over. We're move moving on, down. on over to Doc's mm-hmm. Herbal Corner. What are we talking about today? We're talking about black pepper. Black pepper? Black pepper. All right. Let's jump right in. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned before in previous podcasts, there's a whole category of what we call kitchen medicine. Yes. That is used as seasonings, but also have very high medicinal value. And, and we're trying in our, in our podcast, you know, previous ones and future podcasts, highlighting some of these kitchen medicines so the people when they're seasoning their food, even though they're doing other types of things, they know they're putting something in their food that is very therapeutic. So there's probably a lot of kitchens that have black pepper Mm -hmm. uh, in the cabinet or in the cupboard. Yeah. Uh, Are we talking about literally the black pepper that people typically would have in their kitchen? Yes. All right. But again, not the supermarket version of black pepper. Oh, okay. okay. If we want the um, the bulk kind that you can get in the health food store or you can get uh, online or you can get in a farmer's market because the medicinal quality of those is sometimes four to five times stronger than the ones in the little container that you get in the supermarket. So, okay, so I just had a really important question just popped into my head. Can you still use this bulk or slash medicinal type of kitchen herbs? Can you use them also as seasonings? Well, yeah. They, okay, so they're still good seasonings. They're still good seasoning. I mean, being in kitchen medicine, what the category means is that they use as a seasoning, but now you need to know that they're not just a seasoning, that they actually have some very powerful healing quality that most people don't know about. Okay. Or they may hear but might not believe. And and black pepper falls into that category. Now black pepper, you know, outside of maybe turmeric and cayenne, black pepper falls into the third most powerful anti inflammatory medicine. Wow. I did not know that. Yeah, and it works really well in combination with turmeric. So you see turmeric with black pepper. Mm-hmm. Even black pepper by itself and you sprinkle it on the food, really, really powerful anti-inflammatory. And the reason why that's important because most people with health conditions, one of the problems is inflammation. Inflammation around the heart, in the bloodstream in the kidneys, in the liver, in different areas of the body. And inflammation means swelling. But the swelling means the blood's not flowing through that area as well as it could because it's inflamed or it's swollen. Okay. You know? So it's like the highway is clogged. You're in a traffic jam <laughs> and, the, and, uh, and our arteries and veins and the black pepper helps you know, clear that, that, that log jam in your bloodstream. Okay. okay. So that's one of the things that makes it um, very good. And like I said earlier, it combines well with the turmeric as a combination. But turmeric is a subject for another time. We're just highlighting and dealing with the black pepper. So we're talking about reducing inflammation. It also helps with joint pains. Is that tied to the inflammation? Exactly. You're learning. <laughs> okay. okay. Because... 
inflammation ends up meaning that things get swollen and they push up against the nerves, especially around the nerves and muscles around the joints, like mm -hmm. the elbow and the wrist and the knees and the ankles and stuff. That's where we tend to first start to feel that pain, but then also in the muscle because it becomes inflamed. So the black pepper reducing the inflammation along with um, its anti-inflammatory, it helps ease pain, okay? It also, as it's reducing inflammation, it has some uh, cleansing qualities for the intestinal system, which helps you in losing weight. No way. What type of quality was that? Cleansing. Cleansing. Okay. You're fine. Okay. That's my Boston accent. All right. That's okay. <laughs> okay. No problem. Parked a car in Harvard Yard. <laughs> kind of yeah. Kind of. I, are you, well, I used to live in Connecticut. So okay, not quite so, Massachusetts. But close enough, you know, close enough. Okay, okay. I, I got, I kind of got used to that. Okay, so it helps with weight loss. It's not the primary, but if you're taking uh, herbs, you know, like a fat burner or something, and uh, you want to add to it, and we talked about before water consumption and right. stuff like that, you know, having black pepper in your food or when you're cooking or when you're seasoning helps aid in uh, helping to drop weight. Because one of the other things it does is a, as an anti-inflammatory, it reduces gas and bloating. Because a lot of time with the weight, it's not just a solid weight. We're bigger because we're holding a lot of gas and fluid in the body, which makes us, you know, bigger in size than the actual scale weight. So how much, how do people know how much black pepper they should add to their food? You would, like, without kitchen medicines, you would just add small amounts, like you see. Small there. amounts. Just, you, know, you don't want to have it where your food's like, ooh, all I taste is the black okay, pepper. Okay, because it'd be overwhelming. It can be overwhelming. But you just use it consistently, you know, like some of the other kitchen medicines mm -hmm. we talked about, uh, in your food. If it's in your oatmeal, if it's in your salad, you know, if it's in your soups and stews, Heaven forbid if it's on your steak, but that's a story for another time. It still, it still helps with the inflammation. So you're suggesting that adding a little pepper to your steak doesn't change the negative qualities of the steak. No, it doesn't. No. But okay. it will help with the side effects from the steak when it, when if you eat too much of the red meat and it causes inflammation, black pepper is one of those things that will help reduce the inflammation. No, so okay. it comes in as a secondary approach. It also helps in detoxifying the body. You know, helping oh, the it's body. a detox. Yeah, it's a detox. You know, so like turmeric and cayenne and stuff. I mean, anything that reduces inflammation and gets things moving and gets the blood circulating uh, is a form of detox. So the black pepper does help the body as a detox. Yeah. Now, I've read. And this is sometimes the thing you have to really think about. I've read where they said that, you know, black pepper helps prevent cancer. But, you know, I, I, when I look at herbs, I look at the properties, and there's nothing in the makeup of the um, black pepper that denotes, you know, preventing cancer. Now, if it's preventing inflammation, it helps decrease other problems like arthritic right. problems, stuff like that, which eventually may evolve into it. But some people say, oh, it, it helps prevent cancer. So if I take this, it might help with the cancer I have. No, 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 no. No, I mean, it would, it would be wonderful if it did. Um, oh, yeah. But I think one of the things in, in the world of herbs, and one of the reasons that sometimes some people get turned off by mm -hmm. herbs is that some people will, Overpromise, uh, or make claims that are unsubstantiated, uh, and I think it's one of the reasons why we talk to you, Doc. Is from my experience that you don't you don't oversell or or make grandiose claims you know, about the herbs that we discuss. And see, and that's one. It's interesting you mention that because that is one of the things that annoys me when I see. This overselling of something, you know, and then when it doesn't meet what people say it's supposed to do, you know, it puts a black mark 
on my profession. So when you're saying this, I was preventing cancer, there were no properties in there that, you know, are anti-cancer. It's just how it helps the body respond. Right. Like with the uh, in, you know, inflammation, of reducing that. It also helps cleanse our intestines and our stomach. So our large and small intestines or our colon and our stomach, it helps start to move waste and impurities out with consistent use. And as you're removing that waste from the body, then indirectly it may help, you know, with some conditions that could build in the body. Okay. Sure. Now, along with that, black pepper is high in potassium. So if your oh. body's low in potassium, adding that to your food along with the potassium supplements, if you end up having to take that, it helps in add more potassium, and that helps in regulating our heart rate. Excellent. So, you know, understand, we're, we're talking black pepper, okay? So a lot, Just little old black pepper. Little old black pepper, okay? So it helps with the potassium, let me repeat that again, that then helps with regulating our heart rate, then when it regulates our heart rate, then it helps with the high blood pressure we might have. Even though you may be on medication, increasing things like um, black pepper actually helps reduce high blood pressure issues because of the potassium and how it regulates the heart rate and how it reduces the inflammation, helps the body be able to help itself in helping it reduce the high blood pressure issues you have. The body is amazingly resilient. It is. Which we give it a fighting chance. Yeah, if we give it what it needs and try to reduce, you know, what it doesn't need or is harmful, the body, I've always said, and you would always hear me saying, our body has the ability to cleanse, heal, and rebuild itself indefinitely, provided we give it the right ingredients to help the body be able to help itself. Some of those right ingredients is, again, like the black pepper. You know, and some of the other things we talked about in previous podcasts. It doesn't cure an issue, but it helps strengthen the body, helps the body remove impurities, then the body can do its thing. You know, that's a God-given gift. It's ability to cleanse, heal, and rebuild itself. We, that's what's innate in our body. We just do the things that hampers the body's ability to take care of itself. Okay. Okay, now a couple more quick things. Okay. Um, it helps strengthen the red blood cells in the body. Ooh, Immune building. Well, we need those. Yeah, we need those, okay. And it has a decent amount of vitamins in it, but that's the story for another time. Black pepper also prevents constipation, or if you're mildly constipated and you're using black pepper, it kind of helps. Now, how does it help? Reduces inflammation and also moves gas out of the system. Okay? And we do have an entire podcast on nothing but constipation. Yeah. So if anyone is interested in that topic, just go through our list of podcasts or YouTube channels and you'll see uh, you'll see that episode in there. Yeah, and last but not least, it helps with skin problems. How? And anything that shows on the outside of the skin is our body's unsuccessful attempt. I use the word unsuccessful right. in trying to remove impurities. So any rashes, bumps, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's your body saying Help me, help me, help me. I'm it's trying to get it's trying to expel something. Right. But the body and our skin is not designed to expel solid waste. Sweat, yes. A bad oxygen, yes. Solid waste, no. So it reduces the inflammation, helps the blood flow, and redirects the cleansing out through our urine, out through our kidneys and liver, and out from our body. Okay. All right. Well, that is good to know. Mm -hmm. And you want one more thing? Yes. It's good for your hair. Assuming we have hair. Yeah, assuming. I, I still have hair. I, have, I still have some, too. Yeah, All right, okay. so tell us about how, how is it helpful for the hair? Because typically the problem with uh, loss of hair comes from poor blood circulation and inflammation. And it chokes off the, it shuts down the pores 
afstand. Mm-hmm. So the scalp and the the uh, air passages can't breathe. And if they can't breathe, then the hair on the outside gets disconnected with the roots inside. So it causes premature um, hair loss with the black pepper can help. It's not the only thing, but, you know. We want to- it's not the only thing, and I take it it's not some sort of miracle no, thing. But, but, you know, it's always a combination of stuff that you need to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not like, and that's another thing with advertisement is like, all you need to do is call 1-900-1-800 and get my formula, and it's going to take care of everything. It's magic. Yeah, right. Scam, run away, you know, I mean, because that's overselling something. Okay. And then it makes my work much harder. So with Pepper, mm-hmm. are there any considerations? I could say considerations or just things that people should be aware uh, regarding the pepper. You can't overdo the black pepper. And when you overdo the black pepper, the worst thing would be irritation in your digestive system. I see, I can see that happening to me. Not to make it all about me, but yeah, well, I've, a, I've, it's I've, about us. I've sometimes have, have put too much pepper on a salad or something, mm-hmm. and then I start to feel it. I get an irritation. Yeah, and that's just your body saying, you are acting like you were grown, and you put too much mm-hmm. black pepper All in right. your food. But as far as long-term, short or long-term health issues, no. Okay. It's just your body trying to say, you did too much. Slow it down. Take a little less. More doesn't mean better. You know? All it's, right. it's that balance we need to have, and that's true in anything you're dealing with in the natural healing realm. So it's best that people get black pepper mm-hmm. from you said farmers market or an herbal store yeah, or, or you can get or it, a trusted we, online source. Yeah, where you can get it loose and in bulk form. Okay, more than a prepackaged thing from some of the major companies that a lot of the properties in those seasonings have been stripped in the in their processing it to fit in those little shake things and stuff. You always want to get it in bowl and then put it in glass jars. When you have those seasonings and you put them in glass jars, the seasonings, the kitchen medicine lasts a whole lot longer than if it sits in the plastic bags. I did not know. Yeah, because glass is a natural preservative. So you can have your cayenne and your turmeric and black pepper and little glass things, you know, and it keeps it strong. All right, Doc. Well, I think this has been a great session of Doc's Herbal Corner. Mm -hmm. How can people reach you? They can call me at 404-943-1171. And as I've always said, you want to mention that you heard me on on our podcast. Because then that always translates, as I've always said, into people that are interested in learning and not just curious. I don't want people who are curious. I want people who, you know, oh, I like what you said. I want to learn more. When is your next podcast? What is going to be the next subject? You know, I want people like that because, All right. because that makes my work easier because I said these people are serious about making changes. All right, Doc. Thank you very much for another great session. Thank you. And now a quick word about our sponsor, Dr. Tate's Herbal Tinctures and Tonics. Dr. Tate's all-natural herbal formulas, which are the true definition of herbal tonics, have been available for over 20 years. These specially formulated herbal tonics are designed to help cleanse, heal, rebuild, and revitalize your body, which will help improve your overall health. Dr. Tate's offers the herbal blood tonic, Dox Detox, herbal fat burner, herbal female tonic, and herbal male tonic. If you would like to learn more about the tonics and where to pick up your bottle, call 404-459-8696 or visit drtates.online. That's D-R-T-A-T-E-S dot online. All links and contact information is available in the podcast and YouTube descriptions. 
that does it for this episode of Adventures in Good Health. We would like to hear from you regarding this podcast and any suggestions you have for future podcasts. You can reach us at Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Please subscribe and leave a rating or a review. Until next week, this is David Maloof exploring natural approaches to good health.